Okay, today's video, we're going to look at the 2024 Leaving Cert Business exam and look at the layout for it. Uh, question choice, what is in each section uh, and how to tackle the paper to get the most marks. So, uh, the short section, there's going to be 12 shorts and you have to answer 8. Um, so, it's unlikely there'd be a question from, say, the Enterprise chapter because that's in the ABQ. So, you're looking at 12 shorts and 6 units. So, it's about 2 questions per unit. Um, although it's likely they'll probably weight it towards unit five, six, seven, and um, just away from the ABQ one. So just if you're looking at cutting out any parts of the course, just keep this in mind. It'll limit your choice on the short sections. But in the short sections, there's loads of set, uh, questions there that uh, they have multiple choice, true or false statements, mix and match uh, statements, and uh, like circle the correct answer. So there's lots of places where you can definitely guess there's no negative marketing at all. Make sure you have a go at these. Don't leave any of these blank. Examiner won't care if you get them wrong. For a true or false question that has uh, five statements in it, if you get three correct, you'll score seven out of 10. So you'll get a H3 answer just for getting three out of five correct. In terms of the ABQ then, the ABQ is on units one, two, and three this year. Um, so you'll get a question on each. Um, there's 80 marks going for it, so it's 20% of your paper. Similar to the shorts, there's 80 marks going for that as well, 20% of your paper. Um, for the ABQ then there's no choice at all so in the shorts you get to answer 8 out of 12 in the ABQ you have to do the question that brings us to the long uh, the long question section in the long questions then there are eight long questions in 2024 and um, it's broken up into two parts so part one has four questions and part two has four questions what you need to do then is pick one from each of the four questions in part one and part two and then any other two questions so you'll answer four in total um, if you do, you, you have to do unit one, two, and three for the ABQ. So when you do unit one, um, based on recent papers, it seems extremely likely then that you'll get two full long questions from unit one as well. So it is a key chat, a key unit. Chapters one to three would be the most important chapters really to, to know in huge detail because uh, about 150 of your 400 marks are going to be going on it. So nearly 40% of your paper, 37.5% of your paper will be on unit one. So make sure you know it really, really well. Uh, then unit two and three usually come up together as question five. So you will have three long questions and your ABQ covered from knowing, knowing units one to three or chapters one to eight. So this will take up about 70% of the marks if you were to answer question one, four, and five, as well as the ABQ and one or two shorts. So a huge amount of your paper, units one to three, they're the, they're the key learning for this year's Leaving Cert Business exam. Beyond that then, if you were to cover unit four and five, it would mean that you could do questions five to eight. So you'd have four long questions to choose from in part two and two long questions to choose from in part one. So you should have plenty of choice to do four out of six um, if you were to cover unit four and unit five. Then unit six is uh, pretty much going to be question two and unit seven is going to be uh, asked on question three. So again, the more you cover, the more choice you're going to have, uh, the more likely you're going to do better in your paper. If you were struggling with the amount of content and you were looking to chop stuff, unit six and unit seven would be potentially places that you could look to cut out. In terms of long questions, you'll still have lots of choice. In terms of shorts, you may leave yourself slightly short. If you're a H1 student looking to get a H1, uh, top grades, you can't really leave out too much at all. But uh, if you were like getting H5s, H6s, and you found the course a bit overwhelming, uh, unit six and seven would be the units you'd look to cut there. Worst case scenario, you, you only get to answer maybe six out of 12 the shorts well, but you'd be able to answer your ABQ and all your long questions, and you wouldn't have as much content to cover this year. So uh, that would be a way of approaching it, but it kind of depends how risky you want to be yourself um, and how uh, risk averse you are to making, making decisions and how much choice you want to have on the paper. So dream scenario, you cover everything, uh, you've loads of choice and you can do really well. Um, then uh, if you were to look in the chop, I'd say unit seven potentially would be first, unit six then next, but you will likely leave yourself short in the short section. Uh, you might only be able to answer six out of 12 well, you have to answer eight, so that could be 20 marks gone or 5% potentially gone. Um, but just bear in mind, some of them might be multiple choice questions or mix and match type questions. So you should be able to get a good guess at some of them and you might be able to make up a few of those marks. So you might lose all the 